Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. You all have probably seen those dogs who live for car rides. My dogs are the same. The moment they realize that we might be going on a road trip somewhere, they just start pestering me and clinging to me in hopes that I will bring them along. And yet they have not started this way. Many puppies are prone to car sickness or can be frightened when being in the car at first. One time I drove to a nearby park and had a fantastic hike with my dog and as I was leaving a lady in the parking lot said oh beautiful dog and I have one just like that at home and I said oh awesome why didn't you bring him and she said well he got scar sick. It was so sad for me to see that this lady is going to go on this beautiful nature hike all by yourself leaving her dog at home and I thought about that that often. So I hope this video could be helpful for someone and, and their dog. So if your dog doesn't love car rides yet, let's help her. My approach is too prone. First, we teach your dog to enjoy riding in the car for the sake of enjoying of riding in the car. And second, we will go to fun places that are nearby so your dog learns to anticipate having fun every time that they go for a ride. Let's equip your car for a safer and more enjoyable ride. You can use this sort of car seat protector if you care not to damage your car seats. And secondly, I highly recommend a plastic travel crate. You can fold it in a half to create a safer riding environment for your puppy, or you can assemble it and have your puppy actually be in a crate, especially if they're prone to moving around the car too much. This will definitely enhance your safety as you don't want your puppy jumping all over you and distracting the driver. This type of plastic crate is also great to have uh, if you're going on a longer trip. They are easy to set up in a hotel room and they provide kind of this cozy den-like environment for your puppy for them to feel at home away from home. If your dog has taken a couple of car trips and became car sick, naturally they can have some aversion to even being in the car. Some dogs can even start drooling, which is a sign of car sickness when they're just placed in the car before it even starts moving. Don't worry, we can change this. We just need to change your dog's association with the car from negative and nauseating to positive and fun. So we start doing this by feeding your puppy in the car. That's right, not just using treats, but actually feeding your puppy the full meal in the car. This way your dog gets to spend some time in the car while eating and that creates a more lasting positive association. So however many times a day you feed your dog, just remember to place the bowl in the crate in the car and stay nearby so your dog doesn't get to worry about you leaving them there. As soon as your dog is done eating, just let them out of the car and play and have fun and celebrate a little. If you place your puppy in the car with their food but they immediately too stressed to even eat it, then let them stay there for three to five minutes and then take them out and feed them near the car. In more difficult cases, a dog may refuse their food completely. Don't worry, they will not starve themselves. Just repeat this process every day, every time at feeding time and eventually your dog will realize that nothing bad is happening to them and they're just getting to eat their food, that's all. Naturally, pay attention to the temperature outside. If it's summertime and you can't avoid the high temperatures, just park in the shade and roll down all the windows while your dog is eating their meal in the car. We want to get to a point where your dog is eating their entire meal completely and eagerly while being inside a car that is not moving. Once your puppy is happy to get in and eat their food in, in your parked car, we will turn the engine on as soon as they start eating. Keep the car running while they're eating their food and as soon as they're done, turn the engine off and let your puppy out and have fun and celebrate. When this is going well, you can be certain that your dog definitely has positive associations with being in the car. Let's keep the momentum going and add 
movement. At first, your dog might get nervous and abandon eating their food. If that happens, it's just an indication for you that you need to take things a bit slower with your puppy. Drive just around the block, I would say three to five minutes maximum. Return home, turn the engine off, and let your puppy stay in the car for the next five to ten minutes and hopefully during that time they will come down and finish their food entirely. When you are at the point that your puppy will accept and eat their food in its entirety during the short ride, start increasing the distance gradually. It's important to remember that this doesn't mean that your dog is cured of any motion sickness and not overdo it. Usually in dogs prone to car sickness it will start setting in after riding for 20 to 30 minutes. So try to keep your first several rides with your puppy short. And secondly, try to avoid the trap of only taking your puppy to scary or uncomfortable wet appointments. Make sure that when you do go someplace, it's to have fun nine times out of ten. To give you an example, there is a small park near my house, which luckily is only a five-minute ride. So I will often take my puppy there even though we could easily walk but I will put them in the car and drive to the park and then we come out and play and that helps them to reinforce the positive association with being in the car. Be proud of all the progress you two have made and pat yourself on the shoulder for being a patient and dedicated doggy guardian. As the time goes on, test your puppy's ability to tolerate longer rides from time to time. Maybe do it once a week or once every couple of weeks at first and believe that as your puppy continues to build up tolerance to being in a car that moves, just before you know it, they will become one of those car ride maniacs. Now for the questions. One of the most common questions I hear is when should I start taking my puppy on car rides? Allow your puppy to assimilate to the new home and environment for the first week or two after you bring them home before starting going anywhere with them. So if you brought your puppy home at eight weeks, you can start conditioning them to liking being in the car at around nine weeks. And if everything goes well, take those first short rides starting at 10 weeks. Question number two, how often should I take my puppy for car rides. I recommend taking your puppy for a short fun trip every other day or at least at the minimum twice a week. I will have a very helpful video on what to pack when you are going on a longer road trip with your puppy. Please subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you're curious to see what it was like to travel to Florida with a three-month-old puppy Zorro, please watch this video next. Thanks for watching and let's get it done!